Hello everybody. Welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews. And I've got another episode of Too Sweet. And I'm going to go ahead and combine two of them in one. Just because one of them is not really kind of... It's kind of new and sort of like... Kind of like <laughs> a returning a returning flavor. And one, I've never really tried these before. And I thought it would be kind of kind of neat to try it together especially since these are both going to be chocolate and the first one that I've that I haven't tried before that I thought I'd give this a try I saw these in the store the other day and thought I'd try these this is called moon pie bites <laughs> they're chocolate s'mores kind of little bites it's more fun as a bite and I guess it's like a moon pie with the cracker and the marshmallow and the um, chocolate on top and it's just in a little bite so that was the first one I was gonna try because I thought it would be interesting I've had moon pies and I've had you know all the different flavors of moon pies they have out there and you know those are those are all good. They've got the cracker and the marshmallow in the middle and the chocolate or vanilla or strawberry or banana or whatever is on the outside. So I'm going to give that one a try. And the other one that I found, and this isn't really new, it's sort of like a returning type flavor. And these came out a while back and I was able to try two of them and... I didn't try the third one because I don't really like coffee and they were doing the M&M's new flavor challenge where they had the three different flavors and then you got to vote for your favorite flavor and they were going to put the winner out. Well apparently somewhere along the line they picked a winner and the winner is the M&M Mint Crunchy. And it says here, winning flavor. The other two flavors were the Raspberry Crunchy and the Espresso Crunchy. And I tried the Raspberry and I tried the Mint. And I didn't try the Espresso because I'm not real big on Espresso. So. But I did never get to review them because, I don't know, I think, I think they were out before I was um, starting doing all my reviews and already people had already done them and I just didn't didn't get around to them but since this one is the winning flavor I thought I'd give it a review for you guys out there because you want to see it so do that one so the first one I'm going to try is this the moon pie bites and I think they actually might have these at like the movie theater because I know they got like cookie dough bites and some of those other ones in there but they cost a fortune at the movie theater if you buy them there. I guess you can take these and sneak them in. I found these at the grocery store and I think they were like a dollar, dollar and a half for the little the little thing. And it's just little little pieces of just the marshmallow and the candy coating. And I can certainly smell the the little graham cracker flavor. And it's just coated with chocolate. Mm-hmm. Now, let's see if I could break one of these open. Okay. That's what it looks like inside. It's like a marshmallow thing. And I guess it's got like a little bit of graham cracker around the outside. Not really sure how that works, but... Hmm. Not too bad. The chocolate's a little bit, it's a little bit grainy on the chocolate. The, it's not smooth like Hershey's or some of those other ones. It reminds me of the chocolate you get like in the Easter Bunny, that Palmer chocolate. 
it's always kind of, you know, kind of gritty, kind of grainy, not real smooth. It's kind of the cheap milk chocolate, but they're not bad. The marshmallow in the middle is kind of, I don't know, kind of chewy. It's not real melty, so they're just okay. And I'm going to go ahead and try these crunchy mint M&Ms, see how they taste. And looks like they did the same thing, where they're the three colors. They're the light green, dark green, and black, or brown color. And if I remember right, the individual colors were a little bit different. And apparently on the inside, they're supposed to be the crunchy in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and try this first one. I'm going to bite it in half and see what you can see in the middle. There's the middle. It's got that little crunchy middle and the shell on the outside. Hmm. Really does have a crunch in the middle. The mint, very minty. The chocolate, there's not a lot of chocolate in there because the middle has all that mint or has all that crunchy middle to it. So there's just a little bit of chocolate surrounding it. And then it's got the mint shell, so very little chocolate, tasting a lot of crunch, very strong mint flavor. So those are actually pretty good for, you know, a mint M&M. &M. I don't know if you guys like, you know, mint M&Ms or if you like a different flavor that you find is your favorite, but... These are not too bad for the crunchy M&M's. Now, I know for Christmas time, they actually put out milk chocolate mint M&M's without the crunchy in the middle there. They're the mint. They put them out for Christmas time. And I usually get those. Those are actually pretty good. These have the crunchy middle, so not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and rate these two for the Moon Pie Bites. They were just okay. I'm going to have to give these, um, I hate to say it, but I think I'm going to have to give these a 4 out of 11. <laughs> The chocolate wasn't very good. The marshmallow in the middle wasn't very good. Moon pies in general <laughs> weren't one of my favorite snacks out there. And putting them in these little forms, it just didn't work with it. It's not as it's not as gooey as the marshmallow in the moon pie. It's kind of actually hard and kind of chewy. So I think I'd only give that a 4 out of 11. I would say pass on these, even though they were like a dollar, dollar and a half. I don't remember exactly, but I'd say pass. And the M&M's, crunchy milk, crunchy mint, chocolate M&M's. For those, I'm going to give them 7 out of 11. They're pretty good. The mint, the mint's really good. I don't know that I like the crunchy in the middle as much as I like the regular chocolate. But the mint paired well. I would, I would rather see the wait for Christmas time and get the mint M&Ms, milk chocolate without the crunch in the middle. They have the same great mint flavor, but they don't have the crunch in the middle, and you get more chocolate. <laughs> so that's just, that's just my personal preference. And mint's not my favorite, 
favorite flavor of the M&Ms. I think I like my favorite ones are either the peanut butter in the middle or the plain the plain M&Ms or the dark M&Ms. Those are kind of my favorite ones. I know everybody out there has their own M&M that they like and some people like it with the pretzels and with you know, geez, they've got all kinds of different flavors of M&Ms out there and they're always putting out new ones but uh, mine tend to be the regular traditional M&Ms the plain ones with uh, either the dark or the peanut butter in the middle I don't like them too complicated and they're too funky of flavors so these were mint M&Ms were good and I wanted to try the winning flavor for you guys out there so that's my take on these two so until next time on Drew's Food Reviews, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell, and that way you won't miss any future content. And go ahead and take a look at my other videos out there. And uh, check out all the reviews that I've done in the past. And go ahead and leave a comment down below if you want to have me see if you want me to try something in the future or you know you just want to say hi or whatever so and I do try to get to all your comments out there and uh, get back to you as quickly as I can so till next time on Drew's Food Reviews talk to you later